this is my daughter's machine. It is a three quarter size sewing machine, so it's a lot smaller than mine, but it is a real sewing machine. It's a Janome, and we were able to purchase it at Target. Hers looks quite a bit different from mine. Her stitch selector, she has fewer stitches. She um, controls her stitches by turning this dial. Her thread path goes down, up, and back down, and I'll show you that in a minute. And the major difference is hers, oops, oh, it's her thread. Hers um, is a front loading bobbin. So her bobbin goes in here. Um, to thread her machine, her spool pin is back here. And there's a picture saying that, I don't know if you can see this, the picture says that she basically wants the thread coming from the front. So, if I were to thread her machine, I would put the spool on this way. Not this way, this would be um, the thread coming from the back. But this way the thread's coming from the front. So I'm going to put it on the spool pin with the thread coming from the front. Then, on her machine, I come around this metal thread guide here. Come through it. I come down, and again on hers, I'm making sure that her presser foot is in the up position. So there's a little arrow here saying that I need to make a U-turn and come up. And then you always want to make sure, this is the take-up lever, you always want to make sure that it's exposed. You can, you can control that with the hand wheel, which is over here on the side. Turning it would lower or or lift or lower the um, the take-up lever. So I'm going to make sure that I come through the take-up lever, make sure that my thread goes through the eye of the take-up lever, through this part. And then I'm going to go back down, because there's a there are arrows telling me that I need to go back down. And hers has that little um, guide right above the needle, just like mine. So my thread is through the metal um, guide just above the needle. I'm going to turn my hand wheel forward. You always want to turn your hand wheels forward, um, otherwise you can mess up the timing. So pull it towards you. And I want her needle up high so that I can see it. Um, and you basically just manually thread it. You just Maybe if you need a magnifying glass or um, something to help you see better, but her needle eye is pretty big, so I was able to thread it easily. And <clears throat> now with hers, the way that uh, it's it, this is called a front-loading bobbin, and she now hers has nifty little pictures here too to tell me that um, my finger is going to be over this way basically and I want my thread coming from the top I'm sorry my thread is coming from the top and that's how I'm going to insert it into the bobbin case and oops, and I'm going to pull it through this groove right here and down until I hear it snap just like that and then holding this part out I'm going to insert it this is a plastic bobbin um, as well some of them will be metal but you would thread your bobbin pretty much the same way as on my machine um, come around here around this engage that 
and also on hers you have to engage this and th what that does is it stops the needle from going up and down. Um, mine, whenever I engage this, it automatically stops my needle from going up. Um, there's a groove here for the finger to go through. So we're just going to line that up. And you're going to push it in until you hear it click. There we go. There. And you're going to lift this up, the thread. You're going to lift it to the top and close it. You want to bring the bobbin thread up, and I do that by turning the hand wheel toward me. I'm going to hold the top thread slightly. Um, I'm going to turn the hand wheel toward me. The needle is going to go all the way down and come back up. And when it's back up, I can go ahead and pull my um, top thread. And it brought my bobbin thread through. And I just want to take something and pull the bobbin thread out. And then I would pull both, um, both threads to the back. I'm just going to do another seam right next to the seam that I've already done. And she also has a, um, a plug that is attached to an outlet and to her foot pedal. So I would turn it on and the power switch is on the side again. I push, I put my presser foot down. Her stitches, uh, she has three straight stitches. Um, she doesn't have an option to change length except for she's got short stitches, medium stitches, and long stitches. She doesn't have like seven different length options or more. Um, or she can select three different zigzag widths or a couple of other utilitarian stitches. So I'm going to select the middle uh, stitch length and my presser fits down. I'm gonna, here's her reverse lever. I don't know if I showed you mine, but basically to reverse you just push down on the reverse. Um, the, mine's a button, hers is a little lever. You push it down while you, while you want to reverse. And we're going to, I'm going to reattach this and then go ahead. Remember to go forward a few stitches and then back up a couple stitches. She does not have a needle cutter, so these are her scissors. And there you go. Her seam is in pink and mine is in um, purple. That's the back and that was the front. Thank you for watching. I hope to do more videos, more tutorials on sewing. Um, I hope to sew up a couple garments and um, I hope you watch them.